All right, guys, welcome back to the No Perk Challenge. Uh, in the last episode, we did sort of a No Perk Challenge, but we had no, per no starting perks, and then we, uh, we did have the specialist perks that we could earn. And that turned out to be a little bit easier than I expected it to be because I was still able to hear footsteps decently well. So now, uh, since we completed that, we're going to take out the specialist completely, so absolutely no ability to earn perks at all throughout this game. We aren't going to be starting with any perks, so this is going to be the true No Perk Challenge. I put on uh, Specialist, and I think since we're playing Prison Break, I, I'm going to switch it up to the Semi-Auto ARX, because I haven't used it for a little while, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I love this gun. So, uh, Prison Break, I kind of want to get control of the top hill area, but we'll see sort of how things play out. Sometimes people just completely ignore it, and other times, most of the time, it's just a big fight for that top hill. Oh, there's a guy. Oh... <laughs> Those were terrible shots. I, I was trying to take my time, too, to get the perfect shots off. See if we can catch people coming out of this back spawn. Really have to pay attention to my sprinting here since I don't have ready up. That's a big one that, uh, that gets me killed a lot. And focus is another one. So I have to be really on the ball as far as face-to-face -face gunfights go. Because if I get kicked up off target, then uh, I'm in trouble. That's what I always like to do to check that ridge is just push up under the bridge like that. It gives you a, a nice head glitch sort of uh, looking towards the ridge and it gives you a, an advantage over the guys that are on the ridge because you're a little bit difficult to pick out, at least initially. You have to really be looking at that area to be able to pick you out. So we do have ridge control now. Oh, I hear somebody coming up though. Or he's down below me. Oh, we got a guy tubing again. We are in the same lobby as last game. And this guy was destroying me with the noob tube all game. It's basically the only thing that was getting me killed was noob tube, and then there was a guy uh, going knife only, and he, he got me a couple times. And I think other than that, that was pretty much all that was killing me. Oh my god, why did I take that shot? That's okay, he... Oh, that guy was laying down? That damn ghillie suit. You cannot see those bushwookies. Oh, where is he? Ah... I was scanning too many areas at once. Just a little bit too much going on for me. Oh, and by the way, there is no restriction as far as me picking up weapons or anything like that. Just trying to make my shots count there. I might as well just start spraying. I'll probably get kills faster than, uh, than trying to really pay attention to lining up those shots. Well, there's a nice little gift for me. Oh, there's, the, there's where Ready Up comes in. If I would have had Ready Up, I would have had a much better chance of winning that gunfight. But I'm just so used to being able to sprint around corners that uh, that's going to get me killed a lot. And that's that's why you don't want to let uh, let these perks become crutches. So it's now become uh, something that I need. It's something I rely on. Same with the sound perks. I really rely on the sound perks in this game. Luckily his name popped up and I got a little bit of an aim assist pull there. Let's throw that down. I'm... Whoa. Ah, oh, damn it. Tried to go for the jump shot, but I was just way too late on that one. That was a situation where a jump, sh jump shot is almost required. What? I didn't release that yet. Okay. Okay, this guy's focusing on this direction right now. He's probably... Okay, there's a guy coming up now. Thought I heard more footsteps, but I'm hearing my own footsteps, which I'm not used to. That's another tip that I just did there. Uh, a lot of people just might not know about it. Is when you're scanning a big open area, don't move at all. Don't move your screen at all. And then any movement on your screen will be really easy to detect. So just pause completely, have a scan, and then move on. And that's something that really, uh, really allows you to pick out enemies that are moving around the map. Even just the slightest movement your eye will be able to pick up on. Because everything else is not moving. Or nothing else is moving. I'm already cycling through these streaks. I'd like to get these ballistic vests down, but I just don't feel safe at the moment. Oh, oh, and that's why. Where is he? Where is he? I couldn't see him in there. Just having a little bit of a struggle there with, uh, with vision. I thought I saw a guy there, but it might have just been the, the edges of those sandbags that... That I saw for a second. 
That guy spawned right in behind me, and there we go. I overlap vests. Not that it really matters. We are playing free-for-all, so it's not a huge waste. I'm probably only going to get the opportunity to pick up a vest once. I've got a vest. How does he have so many tubes? He must be using the Castet 2 or whatever that's called. Castet. I think it's a Castet. Oh, come on! Kick me off my aim to kill that guy by uh, tubing me there. Oh, he's still sitting there. Oh, he's in that spot. That's why I couldn't see him. He's in that little uh, spot by the tree. Come on, I invented those spots. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say invented, but I discovered them before a lot of people. My first Maps Exposed episode was on this map, and I covered that spot before anybody else had, to my knowledge at least. Oh, don't, don't kill me with that tube. Your ammo crate expired. He's totally going to kill me, because he has two more, probably. He's waiting for me. Risky move. So that guy's dead. This guy turned back. Hopefully he'll be coming back towards me here. Oh, he's crouch walking too. Played it smart. Uh, only one hit marker. That was just uh, a case of me not, in, not getting aimed down sight quite fast enough to be able to take him on. So we are winning the game though, so things are going relatively smoothly. I, I am dying way more often than I uh, would normally die, and that's that just uh, shows how powerful perks can be. There's a lot of deaths where if I would have had a certain perk that I normally use, then it would have been, where is this guy? He's in that spot again. Can you get a line of sight on him? I never really uh, bothered to look for a way to counter this spot. Because uh, I didn't really anticipate too many people would use it. I, I still can't see him. I'm going to ignore him. Uh, there's no point in challenging. He's in a position of advantage right now. I have no no way to get a line of sight on him that I know of before he uh, has a clear shot on me. So in that kind of a situation, you just back off and don't feed him kills. Hopefully he'll get restless and just eventually try and move, and even if he doesn't, then... Oh, I swear that was a guy there. <laughs> that was just a bush. But hopefully that shot would dr will draw a few people towards me. I just realized I didn't quite finish my sentence there, so... Apologize, sometimes I lose my train of thought while I'm playing here, because something pops up in the middle of a sentence, and... Uh, it's kind of hard to get it back, because I am trying to play at the same time as talk, and that's a lot harder than a lot of people uh, would expect. I think I just watched him spawn. Or maybe it was just after he spawned, I had seen him spawn. I'll just be really... There's a guy above me. Be really focused on this area here, since that guy does love that spot so much. Or it was this spot here. Okay, whatever. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh. That was kind of blind firing. Oh, there's that danger close. Okay, I did see this shield animation now. That's the first time I've seen the new shield animation. And it's looking better, for sure. Just initial impression from the first time I see that. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, at the time you're watching this, it would have been last week. They patched the throwing animation when you're in a riot shield because that danger close C4 combo with uh, reflex was so deadly. Because you you could basically just throw the C4 around the side of the shield. He spawned right there, of course. Those revenge spawns. Yeah, you could just throw it around the side of the shield and it was like impossible to kill those guys just about and so with this new throwing animation it causes you to expose yourself a little bit more as you're throwing that c4 which oh i just heard a dog uh oh i hate these situations i know there's a dog in the area okay we're just gonna keep moving <laughs> whoa 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 i didn't see that guy at all where is he Gonna rush me? Is he up top? Is he down low? I can't tell. I still can't tell. Somebody shooting at me from behind now? Where is he? Where is he? Ah. I was hoping to kind of take him by surprise there, but I just couldn't pick him up in time. He uh, blended in quite well. Oh, I have an IED. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I never get kills with IEDs. Checking for that re revenge spawn. That got me killed once already, so... Whoa! Hello. Didn't hear that guy coming. It's really tough uh, adjusting to no sound perks. My god, my aim sucks. There's gonna be a guy spawning right there. That was just uh, sort of a sixth sense uh, spawn read. 
So many shots. I must have been hitting the railing. Uh, nice tube, I guess. Uh, this is a relatively close game. we got to finish it off here. Uh, oh my god. That's the guy, too. The guy that's tubing is right behind me, I think. Oh, uh, where's my focus when I need it? That guy kicked me off so bad. Oh, I can't fail this challenge. Challenge me. What? See if that'll get a kill again. There we go. Finish it off. Barely any time left. Uh, I kind of felt like that guy was going to have a big comeback and uh, take the lead there and, and beat me. So pretty stressful, but we managed to do it. So once again, we completed the challenge. This is going so much smoother than I expected. Uh, I'm going to find a way to make it more difficult for the next episode. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I will make sure there, it'll I will make sure that it will be more challenging. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you guys next time.